Introduced by a new iPad or are you an iPad user who's been struggling to find a good note taking app? Do you feel like good notes is your only option? If the answer to any of this question was yes or if you clicked on this video for some other reason, congrats because you just found the best good notes alternative app that nobody really talks about. Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Poo, currently a fourth year math student and this is part two of the best good notes alternative app. In part one, I showed the beginner's tutorial to this app and in this video, I will show some advanced features of this app that you can use so that you can make some good notes. Ah, uh, you see what I did there? Okay, before we get into it, I will give you a summary of everything that we'll be learning today and if that is something that you're interested in, then stick around till the end. So according to the app, the features that it offers when you get Noteful Pro are these. So in this video, I'll be elaborating on all of these features and there'll be a part three soon in which I will be explaining about how to add PDFs and books directly to the app so that you can annotate on them, how to make and use stickers out of pictures and other things. And trust me, this app gives you everything that you ever wanted as a student. So without wasting any more of your precious, precious time, let me just get into it. And I promise I will keep it crisp and to the point. On number one, we have Sync with iCloud. To be fair, with a little bit of storage that iCloud provides, I do not recommend you use this feature. But if you still prefer to, it basically helps you to never lose any of your notes and you can access them on any device. On any device with iCloud, of course. On number two, we have unlimited notebooks. I'm not very sure, but I think with the free version of this app, you basically get to use three notebooks just like GoodNotes. But guess what is not like GoodNotes? The pricing. It's just rupees 4.99 to get unlimited notebooks and all the other features of GoodNotes. And if you're somebody who's remotely even considered to buy GoodNotes subscription for at least one year, I'm pretty sure it's affordable for you. Also, it sounds like I'm trying to sell this app to you, but I'm not, and this video is not sponsored. I'm just a student like you who's benefited out of this app, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. On number three, we have more than three color pickers. This is exactly how I got to save so many colors to my notebook. The color picker basically helps you to pick colors, duh, from any picture of your choice so that you can use those colors while writing notes later. So you just have to add an image to your notebook with all the colors you want. I've got this one from Pinterest. Then click on this. Then the plus icon to add a new color. Select the color picker tool. Pick your color of choice. And there you've added it. And it's here. On number four, we have premium templates. In the free version, we get some boring templates to use. But in the pro version, we get a lot more designs and colors that we can choose from. Now for the fun part, how do you add your own template? So first of all, I've downloaded this template from Pinterest and now pay attention. Go to the template in photos and save it to files because otherwise you will not be able to add it to Noteful. Now go to the Noteful app, click on the icon, choose this. And depending on if it is a cover template or a notebook template, choose accordingly, go to saved, click this, import file, choose the template and then there it's saved. And now you can easily use this template in your notebooks whenever you want. On number five, we have unlimited layers. This is mostly useful if you are someone who has a lot of drawings in your notes. And this is where you can find it. When we write notes, by default, it is in layer one. Now, if you draw something on layer one, you can add another layer to fill in the outline so that if you make a mistake and you want to erase it, you don't erase the outline too. I hope that made sense. On number six, we have bookmarks. As simple as it sounds, let's say you're studying something and you want to bookmark it so that you can come back later and revise it. You just have to go to the bookmarks option, click on add, and you can even rename it so that it's easier to know what you've bookmarked. On number seven, we have outlines, which is in the same place. Think of this as an index to your notebook. So when you're creating a new chapter in your notebook, you can go to outlines and save this page and rename it as the chapter's name. 
So when you do this for every chapter, it basically becomes a complete index and you can easily navigate between different chapters without having to search for it separately. On number eight, we have auto backup. It just automatically backs up your notes and you can sync it with a notebook on your iPhone so that you can start studying anywhere even without your iPad. On number nine, we have premium shaped objects. I showed this feature in the previous video, but it's actually a pro feature. So when you draw a wobbly shape, you just have to hold your pen in place for a tad bit longer and that will snap it into a perfect shape. And this way you don't have to go back and redraw your shape into perfection. On number 10, we have image cropping. Without wasting any more time, let's quickly add image of your choice into your notebook. Tap on it, choose crop. Now, you see up here, we have two options. Either we do the boring rectangle crop or we advance a little bit and choose the freehand crop. With the freehand crop, you can directly draw around the image. And we have this beautiful cropped image making our notes look more put together. Number 11, we have advanced lasso tool options. And number 12, we have advanced eraser tool options. Both of these which are being covered in my previous video. So if you want to learn more about them, you can go to that video and watch it. If you have any doubts, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below and I'll make sure that I reply to every one of you. I've linked the app in the description in case you're interested to download it. In part 3 of this video, I will teach you guys some of the hidden gems of this app. So don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Now, let's get to note taking.